hour for your zero hour. Team Omotoshaw Global Outreach is an apostolic and prophetic ministry designed under Trinitarian auspices to propagate the gospel of Jesus Christ to this generation with signs following. Come and experience strength for your stress and power for your zero hour. So, I went to Nigeria recently and I was telling this man of God, perhaps you don't understand why the anointing is so scarce. Perhaps you don't understand why many people are praying and the prayers are not answered. Prayer must be targeted. It's a goal. That's a goal post. That's a football. That's a player. So many shots at goal. Not resorting to a single goal is not a goal. I've been praying many, many times, but I've been praying over the bar. Uh, you don't understand that. No football here. Bring one. I shall carry this one away quickly. I show something. So, you don't understand. When you are praying, there will be a target. That's why the Bible is complete. What does the Bible say concerning a goal? It says, looking unto Jesus. Because as soon as you look on somebody else, you lost it. What, your problem, guys, is you don't have focus. And that is very common here. You have no focus. And when you are not focused, you are bogus. This is a grammar, I believe. I'm, be, I'm blowing some grammar tonight. I, the Lord is really helping me from the throne room. Eh? Hallelujah, somebody. Anyone who is not focused is bogus. It's a bogus Christian. Microwave believer. You know, the Bible says something else. That I, 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 that's why I'm, I'm, I'm like, I, I want to like it, everything to something you can see. I, I want a football. He says, what is this? He says, why do you ask and you do not receive? That's the best one around. He said, why do you ask and you do not receive? He said, you ask and you do not receive because you ask and miss. That means you miss the target. Give me that. Put it here, from here. Hey, 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 come, come. Are you, are you a footballer? Make sure you're a footballer. Don't play nonsense. <laughs> now, watch this. Listen, 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 listen. Okay. Third scripture. He says, narrow is the gate. Now, watch this. Straight is the way. Watch. When you want to score a goal in, in heavenly places, there are two sides. The only ghost is the only known goalkeeper. That's the reason why he came as a bird. So he could fly to and fro the post. Because everything you are doing on that emanated from the spirit. You don't understand. That's why I watch football and I watch wrestling. Two things. Because the Bible says we wrestle not against, but we wrestle against. No, because in the Bible it's written. Watch. If somebody say, what? Look, this against the pole. Again, again. Bring it here. Look, look. This is not the place. That's the second prayer. You fast 40 days, 80 days, 100 days, over the bar. Watch, watch. The only time, watch, watch. Watch again. Because it's not where targeted. If you want a prayer life, you target it. If it's not, there's a reason. Watch, watch. Watch, there is a goal. Because it's targeted. Targeted. That's the reason why I said, when I was playing football, I never played football and 90 over the bar. Because I, I will tell the goalkeeper, go anywhere, I'm going to score. Because I targeted it this. Where to get it? It's not going to be something I'm thinking about. No, this is common sense. Please, let me see. That shows that what I did is not easy. So I want people who can play football to come out and play. Only three people. Oh yeah, you have to try your own. Oh yeah, try. Hey, come master, try. Oh yeah. Good. <laughs> this 
should be a good footballer. You know why he missed it? He was careful too many. And he lost it too much. Amen. I told you. The second time now. I don't. there also. Even the chair was shaking. The team went to... <laughs> that is everybody. That's how, how we play. If you see anybody who plays and targeted it and caught the target and scores, that is the person who made it. And everybody will be saying, how did he make it? Let me, how did he score? Because if I find time to reason, if I play like this, you see people who play uh, penalties, who have never lost one, are those people who are articulating their mind. You see, when I'm playing penalties, I stand and I go. And the keeper, if I want keeper to go this way, I put my hands through this place. And I do like this. <laughs> Believers, this is where I'm going to. The football is going this way, but I'm looking this way. And the keeper is not watching my feet anymore because I'm giving him distraction. So the devil gives distraction to a believer who has a cell phone. Two, three cell phones. It's one, two, three. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit embedded in your cell phone. God is gone. Why you are still living in non-existence? Phase one ended. Phase two beginning. Thank you. So, now that I told my children in the house, when, when I'm watching football, when I come, they walk cartoon because all the, all the, all the, all the children in, in the world 90%, 90%, 99% they love Cartoon Network, whatever, all those things. And then my, my younger sister here, Fiki, likes to watch uh, the school game. What is his name? Call, High school, huh? High school musical. Uh -huh. <laughs> that is our own. So, can, 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 when you do their body like this, I say, okay, I'm waiting. I want, I want to watch my football. <laughs> and then they have to, they have their TV everywhere in the room, whatever. I think you have your own in your room too. You have your so I have to sit down in the city room there and watch football. And after watching football, I look for Christian channels if there's any. If there's none. But the Bible says the entrance of your words is an entrance. If there's no reason for you to be blessed, why do you need blessing? Because the blessing you're talking about, the blessing you're talking about. was created by the word of God which you are not reading. Therefore, when you, when you are not reading the word of God, say, God bless me, God bless me, God bless me, you are a foreigner. You have no ID for blessing. Therefore, you are lesser than a second-rated citizen, second-class citizen. So, but when you have the word of God, which, of course, everything that God made, nothing was made without the word of God. Therefore, you are entitled to an entitlement. That's what I'm preaching now. Did you know I've been preaching like this and you never followed any? Can I just ask the question? The reason why you are not following is because you are, you are not ready. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. 
That's the reason why the Bible says man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word. So, and you are not living without it. You may be breathing. Breathing does not mean living. You are breathing, but you are not living. There are some parts of your body that are damaged. They are still living. Amen? Amen. But they are not resisting. Because they are not working. They have been made redundant. Somebody who has lost one kidney can still be walking in the street. But the truth is the kidney is dead. You may say, but there's no problem. There is a problem because it's a matter of time. Everything that God made, he made through his words. May your story change tonight. Amen. May your story change tonight. Amen. Read verse 130 again. The entrance of thy words. The entrance of your words. Giveth light. It gives light. It What give, it is? It gives. It giveth understanding. It gives understanding to the simple. Unto the simple. Unto the simple. Now, it giveth light. And then it gives understanding. What is light? It giveth knowledge. You can be able to see beyond your nose. And then it gives you the understanding of what you are looking at. He says, son of man, can you see? What can you see? He said, I, I can see the uh, uh, almond tree. What you are seeing is true. That understanding of it is that I've, I'm, going to, I'm going to esteem my word to perform it. In other words, what you have seen is light. But the understanding of it is that the reason why you have seen it is because I'm going to esteem my words to perform it. Some of you have dreamt. And you don't even know the meaning of your dream. But through the word of God you are reading, the word of God speaks about such dreams in, in, in the Bible. But you have never read it. It may be in the book of Judges. Where the trees gathered. Who would choose us a king? How many of you have read that play before? You have not. The trees gathered in the book of Judges, they wanted a king. How many of you ever knew that the trees in the forest could hold a meeting? For you, sir, there are none of these things. But I promise you, they even had meetings in the Bible of who will be our king. So that powers of darkness, they know this place. If the trees will gather to hold meetings, Powers of darkness go to the trees to hold meetings with them. So if you go to Sagoma, they use the leaves of the trees who held meeting yesterday against you who refuse to come to the meeting in the church. Uh, you see. The entrance of your words and the, and, the, and, the, and the tree of thorns. They told the tree, come and be our king. Say, what, what I know? The tree of thorns gave a, a, a complaint. Another one, the tree of holy leaves, say, how can I leave my holy foil and become, I will lose my, the work I'm doing by providing oil for the children, for the people. So let me remain the way I am. I can't be your king. It's written in the book. Of, so it's the scripture. So if you have never read it, you feel that's the reason why they are the ones taking care of human beings. Because they hold meetings here and there. That's the reason why the Bible, God sent out even his own image from the garden because he ate a wrong fruit. They listen to you when you talk, when you are going in the street. And you have trees. They can listen. Because they are the ones supplying you with oxygen. What the trees are breathing out is called oxygen. Human beings breathe in oxygen. What we breathe out is called carbon dioxide, which the trees are breathing in. So we are interrelated. That is the reason why when the blind man was healed by Christ, he said, what can you see? He said, I saw human beings as trees. We are inter interwovenly related. Hello? Hello? And even Christ was calling himself a tree. 
I am the true vine. And here, branches, you can see you are a tree. Every human being is a grass. Okay. Verse 160 for phase 2b. Thy word, Thy word is true from the beginning. Hello! From the beginning, Genesis. To the book of Revelation, don't let anybody change you. It's true. From Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. To the last chapter and verse of, of, of Revelation, it's true, yes? And every one of thy righteous judgments. Every one of your righteous judgments. Endure it forever. Stands and stays forever. You know? The word of God. For instance, phase two has ended. Let me go to phase three. How to actualize. How to actualize. How to perform in the word. Now I tell you this. I'm just going to show you this quickly. And then I pray. I was telling you, I said, somebody came to me and said, man of God, how do you know if God is speaking to you? How do you know that God is the one speaking and not your spirit? And I want to tell you, I'm going to educate my people here today. Three spirits are existing. Three spirits can exist in you, and they are existing actually in you. And the fourth one is hiding somewhere, is, is the best. And God Almighty made that one the best, and I show you now. The first thing, as Romans says, says our the spirit of God bears witness with our spirit. That, that's true to start with. That we are children of God. The spirit of God, who can show me in the book of Romans, bears witness with our spirit. In chapter what? Eight or what? Uh -huh, first. The spirit of God bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. In other words, we got two spirits already. We have got God's spirit. We have got our own spirit. Eh? A sixteen. Thank you. Anybody can read. The spirit itself. The spirit itself. That is the spirit of God. Yes. Bear it witness. Is bearing witness with our spirit. With our own spirit. That we are the children of God. It's written. A sixteen. That we are the children of God. There are two spirits now. That the Bible says we are. We have. So when you say God says. It might be. Your own spirit. Talking. Hello. I show you one shocking news there. In the same chapter 8. I, hello. The Lord told me, the Lord told me, the Lord told me, the Lord told me. That is very common. My brothers and sisters, how did you know the Lord spoke to you? Is it not that your spirit is speaking to you? And then you are confused. And then I'm confused. I don't know. I thought the Lord was speaking to me. Because now, when I waited upon the Lord for seven days, uh, the Lord spoke to me. Because of that fast, after you have fasted, the devil is the first to speak. You never knew that. Hello? Matthew chapter 4. <laughs> Am I wasting somebody's time this morning? <laughs> Matthew. Oh, Jesus, have mercy. I have anybody here. I want you to look from verse 1 to 3. Then was Jesus led up of the spirit into the wilderness. Okay. Uh, re remember, Christ had his own spirit. The Holy Spirit is number two. Who came to him after he was baptized in chapter three. But before then, he had his spirit that gave birth to him. Which is his own spirit. But as soon as he was baptized by John the Baptist, 
the Holy Ghost came from heaven and a voice came with it and said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. And this is what the Bible is saying in chapter 4. As soon as he received that Holy Ghost that came as a door from heaven, that same spirit, which is the vision of God now, led them to the wilderness. That's where I'm taking you to. Read on. Then was Jesus led up of the spirit into the wilderness. Into what? This is probably another right. Into what? Into what? Wilderness. Into what? Wilderness. Into what? Wilderness. Into what? Into what? Into what? What is wilderness? Huh? Solitude. So literiness. Loneliness. If you say I'm born again, 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 your phone is ringing by everything. Hey, talking, 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 talking. I know you are not born again by the words you say. I know you are not going nowhere. And this is how our forefathers lived and they died without achieving. Remember, people of God, listen very carefully. The first thing you have to understand about the power in the world is that that's what God has. That's what made God what he, who he is and what he is. Is anybody hearing me? Yes, you see the power of the word of God now. So he was now led by the same spirit. Now, why was he not led by his own spirit? Because he was human. Human beings are not going to obey God's laws. You cannot struggle enough to obey God's laws. You can only do it by the help of the Holy Spirit. But there is a protocol. It's not a day's job. As you are hearing my word, and you are saying, hmm, yo, you. As soon as you get out, your spirit takes over. Why? Because you have not reached. This level of obeying until you've made up your mind today. And it's about your mind. Everything begins and ends in your mind. Read it on. Then was Jesus led up of the spirit into the wilderness. Into the will. Into the will. Yes. Who led him? Of who? And he was led by the spirit of. To the. Wilderness. And what follows? To, to be, be tempted. Of the devil. What is the link? What is the link? Every time you pray and fast, every time you pray and fast, every time you pray and fast, the first person to test your fast and your prayer is the chief examiner. And God gave him that audacity to be tempted of the devil. And I want you to see what Christ did. Read on. And when he had fasted, 40 days. Oh, 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 oh. When he had fasted, how many days? 40 days. And, uh, 40 and 40 nights. Watch this. And 40 nights. You don't understand that the devil also came to Moses. This is what happened to see. Hmm. Why did he break the tablet? And when did he break it? He only broke, he he broke the table, the tablet in his hand, only when he fasted. Hmm. And breaking the tablet, is it from God? The handwriting of God was broken by a human being. Who helped him to do that? Mr. Devil. May God give you power over him. Amen. Uh, I thought you would say seven amen. 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 Power for your zero hour.